Hi, my name's Kate Nelson. I'm a wildlife health biologist with the BC Chronic Wasting Disease Program. And I'm just going to run through some options on how to submit your deer head if you want to keep the antlers. So the first option here, um, if you want to just keep the antlers, then you can uh, simply take a reciprocal saw and cut them off at the base and submit the rest of, of the head to one of our freezer locations. Um, alternatively, if you wanted to keep the antlers with the skull plate for a taxidermy mount, um, you can, again, with a recip saw, cut the, the top of the skull plate uh, off with those antlers and damaging this top part of the brain is okay because the samples that we're looking for are at the back of the throat. So if you'd like to keep the uh, skull and antlers for a European mount, that's going to be uh, fine for the deer. For the elk and moose, uh, we also need a portion of the brain stem. So uh, this sample option doesn't work for those species. But for the deer, what you're going to want to do is remove the low jaw from the rest of the skull and antlers. Uh, you can um, use a, a knife to cut, um, cutting close to the bone as much as possible so that you are protecting those samples that we need uh, in behind this low jaw bone. And um, taking your time, because it will take a little bit of uh, work, just being careful to, to cut close to that bone and not damaging the tissues underneath, then you can remove the low jaw and what you'll be left with, because now you've cut around that upper crest of the lower jawbone and between the base of the skull and this first vertebrae. So the upper portion of the skull you can keep and you will submit this low portion here. So the tissues that we need for testing are at the back of the throat here. You'll notice these two kind of grayish looking lima beans. Those are the lymph nodes here and here. And then the other tissues that we need are at the back of the throat, the tonsils uh, at the back of the throat here and here. Um, you can landmark those by the uh, tonsillar crypts there. But if, if you can locate these two gray lima beans or these lymph nodes that we're looking for, you could make a cut here um, just behind them and remove this first vertebrae in the part of the neck and submit all of those tissues with the low jaw. So here's another example of that European um, mount submission with just the low jaw attached with that low jaw bone uh, with these crests attached and those uh, tissues that we're looking for protected in, right in this area here and that first vertebrae um, still attached. Now, if you would like to keep the low jaw for a European mount with the low jaw, there is an option here. If you'd like to carefully remove the soft tissue from around that jaw bone, then you can carefully do that, protecting those tissues between the crest at the back and simply submit this portion, again, with the tonsils at the back of the throat and those two lymph nodes at the back. So here are the examples of the various ways that you can submit your deer head for chronic wasting disease testing and um, keeping your antlers for various purposes. Thanks.